In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate making a two-point playhead-to-playhead edit in Final Cut Pro. You would use this edit in place of a three-point edit if you are using the end or beginning of an event clip. In such a case, it is faster than a three-point edit since you don't have to set in and out points or range selections. You just set your playheads and then perform the edit. The two-point edit matches the playhead in an event browser clip, the source, with the playhead in the timeline, the destination. This edit actually uses three edit points, but you don't set them like you do with regular three-point edit. Instead, it uses the event browser and timeline playhead placements for the two endpoints and the event clip end for the third point. The skimmer will take precedence over the playhead in either the event browser or the timeline. Create a compound clip in an event. Select the event and then go to the File menu, New Compound Clip, or Keyboard Shortcut, Option G. Name the compound clip and press OK. In the Event Browser, right-click the compound clip and choose Open in Timeline, or just double-click it, which is what I usually do. You could use a Project Timeline if you prefer. Place clips 1 and 4 in the compound clip timeline. Zoom out to see more of the timeline. In order to perform a two-point edit, do not make any selections in either the timeline or the event browser. If a clip is selected, it will override the playhead for this edit. Set the timeline playhead first. In the timeline, place the playhead where you want the event browser source clip to be edited. Click in the timeline ruler area in order to place the playhead without selecting any clip. You can get the playhead close and then hone in on the exact placement with the J, K, and L or arrow keys. Next, set the Event Browser Source Clip Playhead. When setting the playhead in an Event Browser Clip, the natural tendency is to click the clip to set the playhead. Then you have to deselect the clip by either clicking in a blank area of the Event Browser or hitting Command-Shift-A. Here's a tip. You can set the playhead in an Event Browser Clip without selecting the clip by placing the skimmer and option-clicking the clip. Or you can just use the skimmer and not the playhead. If you need to be more precise, use the JKL or arrow keys to move the skimmer to the endpoint. Using the JKL or arrow keys will also change the skimmer into a playhead without selecting the clip. This will be the source clip endpoint. The end of the event browser clip will be the third point and determine the length of the edit. Once your playheads are where you want them, to perform the two-point edit as an overwrite edit, go to the edit menu and choose overwrite or press the D key. For an insert edit, place your playheads, then go to the edit menu, choose insert, or press the W key. For a connect or superimpose edit, place your playheads, then go to the edit menu and choose connect, or press the Q key. You can also ignore the timeline playhead and place the source clip at the end of the last clip in the timeline. From the edit menu, choose Append or press the E key. In all cases, the length of the edit will be the length from the playhead to the end of the clip in the event browser. Once you make any selection, you are no longer performing a playhead-to-playhead two-point edit. You can also make back-time two-point edits, in which Final Cut Pro uses the playhead in the event browser and in the timeline and goes back to the beginning of the event browser clip for the duration. To perform a back-time two-point edit, Place your playheads in the event browser and the timeline, and then use Shift-D for a back-timed overwrite, and Shift-Q for a back-timed superimpose or connect edit. You can also perform audio-only two-point edits. Place the playhead or skimmer at the browser clip endpoint and press the Q key. The audio will be placed under the main storyline at the timeline playhead position. You can also do a back-time audio-only two-point edit using the Shift key with the Q key. There you have it, a two-point playhead to playhead edit in Final Cut Pro. Thanks for watching.